Choose a card. Choose a rare card. Remove a card. Enemies have... Let's look for the elite snipe to see if we can do it. If not, rare card's probably my option. Ooh, we can... Looks like we can snipe two elites potentially, guys. No, one elite. We can snipe one elite. And then we get rewarded with... Two rests after that. So we get four rests and potentially an elite snipe. Hey, anyone Mendel, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. I saw you in the Discord, but you didn't follow. That's funny. Well, good to have you, man. Let's... The thing about the lead type is that like, it's not really that worth it. Because if you're if you're drafting okay anyways, you are... You don't need to snipe the elite just because you can probably fight the elite no problem anyways. Follow for the win. Oh, let's get this... Let's get this streak going. Yep, yep, yep. If you're, if you're doing good with your deck, you're going to kill this elite pretty easily anyways. If it's Gremlin Nod, then it's pretty good, but if it's Triple Sentry, you feel like crap for doing that. At least with the rare card, we can probably get an archetype going. We can get Electrodynamics, we can get... Echo Form. The only problem is I don't like losing max HP because max, a max HP... Uh, makes my rest worse, but it's okay. We got Echo Form. I think Echo Form is one of those cards that... Guys, you take it, you get the, you get the turbo, it makes everything easier. It's going to be a little awkward... In these hallway fights, but dual cast is gonna carry us through the first couple fights, and then what we want, what we want to look for is turbo, and let dual cast carry us, and then echo form is gonna carry us in acts too for sure. And what's nice about echo form is it actually exhausts itself, so it's like it's like having a clumsy, right? It's like having a clumsy until it's no longer a clumsy. This is sixteen plus six, twenty-two. One damage off lethal. Feels bad. Alright. There's the turbo. Okay, you would argue I probably want the leap, right? Because leap is gonna help me get consistent defense against the guardian. But turbo is gonna get echo for my least out there. Now we gotta focus on offense, right? So we need offense for this. Elite coming up. Now, the Elite could be Gremlin Nod. That's, that's always what I'm thinking about. And if that's the case, Strength Pop might be good, but Rip and Tear might be good as well. At least it's 14 damage. If you get Echo Form out early, then you're doing 28 damage single target. And I might just take that right now just to get the offense. You could also argue, okay, we're probably going to find offense like in this... But what I could do is I could do Beam Cell, Rip and Tear, and have that be my offense, and from there just start removing strikes, and then start... Getting defensive. Playing two unupgraded, it's like playing one upgraded one. That means if you have one upgraded and one unupgraded, it hits a single target three times. Interesting, Slim Shady. And if... Yeah, they're both la laying down. Guys, you got to see how cute this is. Look at this, guys. Look how cute that is. You see that? Sleeping little boys. It's interesting. So if they're both upgraded, they're doing four times single target, two times AOE, right? <clears throat> let's do let's go let's do this for the the let's do that for the uh, offense right, and now we can just have that as insurance against Gremlin or Lagavulin. And it will start building defense right now. Easy. There's the defense. There's the leap. You could argue Skim's not bad, because then Skim could help me. I can play Skim, right? And then Skim could help me find the turbo in the echo form and play that, but... Wow. We're destroying this Act 1. Go cast just carries. Sweeping Beam, Axe Rebound. Okay, so this is another... Uh, uh, some, off some offensive picks. I think Axic is very good, very underrated. Um, it could also balance out Echo Form. The problem is we're going to have a lot of zero cost cards. What we need is to get card draw. And Axe Kick is not that good against the the Guardian, but it's pretty good against the Elites coming up. Shipping Beam for card draw and the AoE. Now, the card draw is not bad because we do have things like Beam Cell Turbo and maybe Zap and Dual Cast if we upgrade them, right? So, Shipping Beam is not bad. It, get, it does cycle itself. Rebounds could be. I think we take Sweeping Beam just for the AoE, but also because of the card draw. Although Axe Kick, the cheap... I'm a big fan of Axe Kick. We just need card draw now. Take the heal. Uh, 
Is there a shop? There's not a shop, so I could do the heal. But I'm not getting full value out of it. We chose a card for uh, for offense. I believe it was a rip and tear, so that's nine times two. Though you probably get more bang for your buck by upgrading Bleem Cell, because if it's the Gremlin Knob, you want to get as much vulnerable as possible. All right, so that's fine. I prepare for Gremlin Knob, but this is not that bad of a fight anyways. I think I want to Axe Kick, although I'd rather get this dual casted, but we can always do... Zap again in dual cast. We need Turbo Echo Form here. Okay, so we don't get Turbo Echo Form, we just get... Echo Form straight up. And so we can... Here's the dilemma. We can block for 14, or we can play Echo Form, which is probably going to make this fight easier. But I don't know if this is going to save me 14 points of damage. You got to think of it this way. So th at some point, I'm going to only block... 5 out of 9, right? So I'm going to have 1 defense for 9. The Echo Form makes that full defense, so I would save 4 life there. And then let's say that happens 3 times, then that's saving 12 damage. That's not saving... That's not saving 14 damage. And not to mention, I'm not being able to play Zap and Strike if I play the Echo Form. So it's a dual, dual thing. I'm actually going to do this. Sorry, Echo Form. Too slow. Yeah, because if you think about it, like, Echo Form is not going to save me 14 points of damage, I don't think, in the long run. Maybe it will, because I, I didn't think about the fact that it could also strike twice. I didn't think about that. Is Turbo good now to get the strike in? Maybe, because next turn I'm getting another strike. There's a chance we can get a lethal. But then the Void might mess me up, we'll see. I agree with you, Urumi. Urumi. In this situation, maybe... Yeah, it's not worth it. I need some more... Yeah, I need some more generation. Right now, my deck's very... Very fledgling. Very fledgling deck right now. I snap picked the remove option because I'm thinking I sleep on the healing. Could be converted into upgrade for... Yeah, so exactly. So the healing can actually be interesting because the healing can guarantee another upgrade or it can guarantee you to do an elite. It's very situational. If the healing makes sense, then you should take the healing. But I actually never... Snap pick the um, the remove option. I mean, I never serve stronger, but I hardly ever even touch that because I usually I'd rather just remove at a shop or save my gold and get something better at the shop. So I'm often just not touching that thing at all. But if I have no shop coming up and then I get offered a removal, sure I'll take it. Usually a shop. Is, ooh, it's the first time having the boot. Okay, how do we make this work? If you if you would deal four or less unblocked damage, increase it to five. My first time having the boot, I have no idea how to use it. I'm gonna do auto shield clean up, but here's the problem: auto shield is a little bit worse with echo form. In fact, it's awful with echo form, but it's a really good value block, and it's good to have at least one of it. I'll take the the auto shield. How do we make the boot work? Let's think about this. Let's think about the boot real quick. Unblocked attack damage, four or less. It could be good with Barrage. Just have it, no play around it. Yeah, I feel like there's nothing you can play around, right? You just have it. I think you can't play around this. Maybe so maybe it'll come to me, but... So maybe there's a situation where Rip and Tear will do a little bit more damage, maybe Barrage. You could play second, Sun Shady, but usually, usually I'm trying to echo form something that's defensive. But this opportunity, yeah, you're right, you're totally right. You could also, you could echo form something that is a power or an offensive card and then do auto shield second. It's true, it's true. And I, I thought about that as I picked it. I was like, you know, you don't have to auto shield, you don't have to echo form auto shield, you can play it second. But often you're probably echo forming something defensive, like a, like a leap stack or defense. In most situations, I feel like I'm echo forming something defensive, but... It doesn't always work that way. There are chances where you can do something of power or offense. Let's see what upgrades. I think we want to maybe upgrade the Zap dual cast. I think Zap, because we don't have enough orb generation. Turbo helps me get the Echo Form out, but we're not getting a card draw. We need like a skim or something. Ancient T set. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the upgrades. I don't I don't need another elite. We're a little low on life. 
little scary. We need more consistent defense because we're about to fight the Guardian, right? So, some Frost would be really nice in this fight. Some Frost would be ideal. Obviously, if we get Echo Form out, then this defense that we have right now, it's going to be doubled. So, then we're totally fine against the Guardian. So, Echo Form basically extracts value out of every single... To think about each defense that I have now could be potentially be two of what it is. So, it's double lead, double this, double that. I think Turbo is a pretty decent upgrade. Not now. It's... Okay. Well, this is really bad time for Turbo. But Turbo makes sense with... Card draw, which I don't have. So that was my B. And this is, this is how the runs feel when you don't have self-repair. Cool edit. So that is some draw, card draw, right? When I upgrade it. And that is Frost, which is going to help me consistently defense. This fight, on the other hand, is a pain in the ass. Actually, I want to look for power. Ooh, that's a very clutch power. That power should be more important here than I would say in the boss fight. So by doing this, I, I evoke and do 8 damage to everybody. So I can play around that and do... I can kill, like, I think all of them here. Wow. So clutch. That's probably the best power I could have gotten. Ball Lightning gives me some more orb generation, but it kind of makes it awkward for me to defend consistently because I have so many strikes. I'd rather just skip. I think Sunder's okay, and especially with Beam Cell and Echo Form. So if I get Echo Form and Beam Cell, Sunder's doing potentially 72 damage. But it takes up all my energy. Obviously, there's Turbo for that, so you can use Turbo to balance it out. I think we're going to be fine on damage. We just want to make sure we live. So I'm going to... Well, Sunder could be good. I'll take the Sunder. I just need something more... One more defensive card and I'm, I'm fine. Sunder is so clutch here. Uh, see, I wonder. Should I kill this little guy right here? Or should I save myself damage and... Like, Sunder one of these bad boys? Because there's a chance that I might be not able to kill this guy in, again in the future. Because I don't have Hologram. I guess I have dual cast. Because if... Damn, guys. If I don't sunder one of these guys, I'm taking 15 damage. That's extremely low. Yeah, I agree, chemistry. I agree. That's a cool little uh, battle right. That's cool, man. If I don't kill, yeah, if I don't kill the take three, but I have two turns to kill this thing, right? And I could always beam sell it, and maybe dual cast. I have, I have rip and tear. I have ways to, like, strikes and stuff, so I can beam sell it, but then sunder this guy just so I don't take as much damage. Maybe I want to stop the weak. I'm going to get weakened regardless, so let's do this. It's a little scary. Let's see. I mean, this is, this is risky. So next turn, we there's a chance we have lethal. Now, there's a chance we don't, right? There's a chance we don't have lethal. If I draw all defense, I'm probably screwed. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Please. I'm probably dead. Oh, this is so sh shitty. Okay, I should have I should have thundered him. I expected I okay, I could have striked. Well, if I did a second strike, I would have died because of Dude, there's I said there was a chance. I didn't draw any of this. Okay, I guess I only have two strikes and axe kick. Mmm. I still I can still be fine. I have a feeling RNG is going to mess me up here. I have a feeling. 
fuck. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is okay. I hope it's uphill from here. I really do hope it's uphill from here. Whew. Craigasm. Craigasm. We don't have anything more defensive. I think what we want to do is <laughs> never punish, man. That was that was a rough fight. My AOE is really bad. Echo form is not helping me in these fights. It's gonna help in the boss fight. I gotta get that out ASAP. I think we don't want any of these. Multicast, okay, is okay. I can use it on the frost. It's awkward. Multicast is awkward here. I actually have to skip. It feels bad, but I have to skip. I'm. Gonna, I feel bad at skipping multicast, but I got to. I have to. I mean, it could be good with the frosts, but I only have one source of frost. Other than that, it's feeling kind of awkward. I don't want to skip it. I really don't. Well, that's what I've been saying last run exactly. It needs more up generation. Yes, it now doesn't need more up generation. It needs. What? What I like to challenge? To help is hard from here on out. Oh, I hope it's downhill. My bad. My bad. I hope that I meant by uphill. I meant to say I hope that it's. I'm like climbing up. Okay, you're right. I hope it's downhill. You're right. That's the right way to say it. So this with multicast, it could be. Okay, I'll take the multicast. I got to rest. I know I say I can get away without resting, but because multicast works with Agent T set, it's not bad. Okay. Please give me lethal here. Sunder, you are a god. In fact, I want to do cool edit, but then if I draw into Echo Form, it feels really bad, right? If I draw into Echo Form, it feels extremely bad. I probably lose the fight. So that's a risk maybe I'm not willing to take. There's... Uh, what are the chances? There is a one... And 11 chance I get Echo Form. Perfect. Now, that's that's good that I, that happened because... I have Frost now. We're going to take a big hit, but Echo Form is going to make it so that it's okay. I'll take that hit. I gotta play that. We should be GG, should be GG from here. I think we do double zap to help for the next phase, but at the same time, I also kind of want to do double leap. Well, we're actually fine. I leap defend covers it, so I can do double zap here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Sunder would be fantastic. See, this is a situation I'm talking about with uh, auto shift, but I guess we have leap. Let's do cool headed. Okay, okay. As long as we get through here, it should be... I'm hoping the deck gets better and better. Dual cast twice. I dig it. This deck is amazing. <laughs> Not really. It's not quite amazing. It's it has potential to go some places. It's just okay. So Sunder is doing forty-eight damage, right? Plus, once I do Beam Cell, let's do Zap and then Beam Cell. All right, easy, super easy. I'm still worried. I'm not not gonna have full defense. Like I can still get cucked here. Oh, we're fine. Going through so far, yes, 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 but it was very hard to get here, and now that we're here, we're feeling okay. I actually like Turbo Multicast. That's doing. That's doing some deeps. The Void's a little awkward, right? Because the Void. Sunder. I think we got. Okay, it's not lethal. We actually have to dual cast just to stay alive. We have to dual cast just to stay alive, guys. Because they're doing he's doing 20 damage. I had to dual cast just to stay alive. That's insane. Absolutely insane. 
What a butt clencher, guys. What a butt clencher. Give me something to kill. GG. Okay. Please, if I can just get through this, I don't want... Don't want any of these. I actually don't like any of these. Rainbow... Okay, that's that's orb generation, and maybe that helps. Maybe rainbow helps. It gives me dark, it gives me some frost, it gives me some lightning, it gives me the best of both worlds. Okay, it's a little awkward, but it's probably the best pick. Nova, not the pick. Multicast again. Okay, if I get dark, then yes, but you know what? I have multicast already. Let's look for... Okay, we got choker, which is kind of awkward with echo form, but... Energy relic... It's gonna help a lot. Just get the Echo from out. I do have some cheap cards like Turbo, Beam Cell, Axe Kick. But we have ways to dump energy into the multicast. I think the Choker's gonna help me get Sunder out. And yes, it might be awkward with the Echo form, but I'd rather have energy than not. And by the way, guys, yes, tomorrow we're gonna do a YouTube stream again on Sunday. So guys, be sure to sub over to YouTube so we can get... We're almost at 6,000 subs, guys. It'll be amazing if we can hit 6,000 subs. Uh, I've been following your YouTube videos for a while, I love it. I'm glad to know you, peace. Hey, Sir, Sir T. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. I'm glad you like the... Glad you like the stream, man. Nova's a pick sometimes if you have, like, creative AI and, like, you want... Nova's probably usually not the pick, but it could have a place. Yes, Beam would use up the Echo, exactly. So I couldn't do Beam Cell into Sunder, exactly. So the only way for me to win there would be dual cast to get the, the, the block. <clears throat> if Sunder was upgraded, it's a different story. Sunder would be, but it wasn't upgraded. I think we do Choker, but I'm trying to think about Astrolab. Astrolab gets rid of three strikes, and then because I have Turbo, I can probably manage on three energy with Turbo and Echo Form. So Echo Form is going to extract a lot of value out of everything I play. And then the Astrolab is going to get rid of the three strikes, potentially give me some better cards. And we're going to utilize Turbo and Echo Form as our main source of value around 3 energy. And I think we'll be fine. The alternative is, though, just take the Choker and get the energy. What I like about Astrolab, though, is that it's getting rid of 3 strikes, making my deck a little bit smaller. Well, not smaller, but getting rid of the 3 bad cards that are in, in the strikes. Potentially giving me some good cards that are upgraded. I don't know what they're going to be. And because we have Echo Form and Turbo, I'm feeling okay with 3 energy, just because I know Echo Form is super strong. It's as if Echo Form is like having an energy relic, and then Turbo can help your turns. I need four energy to block on the turn you have Draco Form. Well, here's the thing: I have Turbo, right? So if I if I get something like Seek, I can do Turbo Echo Form and get it out. Or if I have Turbo Echo Form, I can get it out. Yes, on the turn that I have Echo Form, I need to block. So I would need something like <clears throat> Steam Barrier or something, or Boot Sequence. Yeah, it's a little awkward. But hmm. the deck is really lame otherwise. Well, here's the thing. The deck is lame, but it's not lame because it has Echo Form. And Echo Form can start making everything powerful. So it's lame, right? But if you can think about it, if I have Echo Form Sunder, and that's decent damage. If I have the Beam Self for Vulnerable, and then I'm doing Sunder twice... Once that's upgraded 32, then with the vulnerable is 48. That's 96 damage in Sunder. 96 damage single target. That's not lame. That that, that can be my damage for now. We can always find other things. We still have Rainbow for the dark. We can do multicast with the dark. I mean there's different things we could do. So I think Choker would help. Just get all that stuff out. But actually love could make the deck better. People underrate... Oh, I, I love Wipey Statue. I always talk about... Oh, I think Wipey Statue is very good now that we have all these new potions, but against these two, I don't think Wipey Statue is the play. You gotta go. Hey, take care on Full Tilt. I need better cards. I've... I don't like cards that are almost always auto-include. Yeah, Search, I think it's... It, it's not the best, right? Because it takes away some... Echo Form is so powerful that it, it basically... Any deck that doesn't have Echo Form is not as powerful as it could be, right? Like, a lot of the powerful decks include Echo Form. I think something needs to be done about Echo Form, but I don't really want to rock any boats. Skip one right for choosing. You, get, you never had a good Choker experience on Defects? Oh, well, here's the thing. The Choker on the Defects, yes. 
I've had a good experience before. I actually had a good run on YouTube. It was Hyperbeam, Echoform, Sunder. And I ended up fighting with myself because, like, damn, Choker's making this deck harder for me. But I ended up winning. You know, I'll do Choker. We're fine. <clears throat> We're going to this champ. Okay, for the champ, we probably want to do consistent defense, get the dark scaling, go for multicast. Super, super simple. I think we're going to be fine. As long as we can consistently defend, get the echo form out to help us defend, and then we save up the dark orb as best as we can, and then multicast in the BTG. We want to skip the elite if we can. In fact, we can skip all the elites. And if we're feeling frisky, if we're feeling frisky, we could fight an elite. But if not, we can still skip it. So this, this is a perfect path. So is still going to be an issue. So, that, so this is a situation where like I can I can still do. We have dark now. That's gonna, that's gonna help us out. I guess boot helps when you're weakened. That's, that's a nice consideration. Sunder is not quite lethal, unfortunately. I'm extremely weakened, and I think this needs to be upgraded ASAP because it's going to be a big source of damage. So Moldecast is doing. 20, it's only 32 damage, and then it's also giving me a decent source of block. And then it brings, it brings darkness to the front for lethal, so I think multicast is the play. It covers both bases, right? And now I just need to get dual cast. GG. Super simple. I would love to get a self-repair to get the help and get, get going. So now we got Axic, Steam Barrier. I think we'll take a Steam Barrier. I think this deck is lacking a little bit of defense. Steam Barrier will help. It's bad with Choker. It really is. Okay, so we can get a full heal here plus max. So if we want to give up, let's say... Let's say we don't want to do Rip and Tear anymore. We're not liking it. Rip and Tear gives us a full heal. Let's say we want to get plus 10 max HP. We can give up the Multicast. But Multicast is doing pretty good things with the Dark Orb and Rainbow. But also helping us against the champ. But you could argue... If I scale up enough with the Dark Orb, that dual cast is going to do the job just as well. And this can give me a full heal. Do we need the full heal? Probably not, because we are going for the, the non-elite path. So I'll just get rid of the strike. A lot of gold here. Creative AI Leap. Creative AI Leap. Secret Technique Mind Blast. Okay, so Secret Technique, I'm a big fan of. Secret Technique allows me... To hunt for turbo it allows me to hunt for things that I may need. It's bad with choker again, but it puts me in a position where I could make more consistent plays. Either it be getting the glacier that I might need, the auto shields, the stack, whatever it may be. Multicast when I need it for the dark orb. It's a little expensive, but that's something to consider. I think leap gives us more consistent defense, and we could always take another leap. Like right now, what we want to do is get leap. We want consistent defense as, as often as possible, and then maybe do things with Sunder, doubled, or do Darkness with Multicast. Our only source of Dark is Rainbow, but at least it's something. Creative AI. You know, Creative AI is going to give me a lot of longevity. It gives me a lot of longevity against the champ. And because we have Turbo, we can play... often More often than that, we can play the cards that Creative AI is going to drop and still do other things. At least on the terms we have Turbo. And when we have Echo Form, we can start doubling whatever Creative Eye drops. And then, again, you guys already know that combo is insane. It's not very good for hallway fights, but it gives you some good power against the boss fight. So that's a consideration. And if I do that, what I could do is I could do Secret Technique as well. No, I can't. I could do Creative Eye, remove, leap. I guess that's fine. Is it rare to dodge every elite? It is a little rare, yeah. So often on Act 2, you get a forced elite on, on this path right here, up here. You often have to fight at least one elite in Act 2, but there are times where you're going to skip an elite like this. But I may end up doing an elite anyways. If my deck gets good enough, I'll do an elite anyways. It's just about making sure that I have the, what it takes. My deck is pretty good for elites. If I get the Creative Eye Echo Porum, it's pretty good. Creative Eye is pretty slow. It's pretty slow. I don't even know if it's even necessary. <clears throat> I don't even think it's necessary. 
Blue, yeah, Hearth, Hearthstone is my city. It's been available for some time, man. If you want to, it's not live version. You gotta do beta. So if you want to do this, you do uh, exclamation point beta. Has more of the flavor of a Sonic card. <clears throat> mm, I don't know if I want to do Creative Eye. Creative Eye honestly has been disappointing to me. Oftentimes. Because in hallway fights, it feels really bad. It feels extremely bad. But I think we have enough power with Echo Form that maybe we're fine. But this is another card that's like, it's another high cost card with Sunder, Echo Form, and Creative Eye. It's feeling kind of awkward. <laughs> I don't even think we need it for the champ. Sorry, I have something in my throat. Ah. <laughs> uh, people who think orbs are weak, that's a very, that's a very <clears throat> black and white way to put it. <sighs> orbs are not always auto pick, but orbs are definitely not weak, and orbs can be their own win win condition. <laughs> but not every deck's gonna utilize orbs to win, and not every deck is gonna like. Orbs don't always work. It's the same way that, you know, you're not going to have a poison deck every game. I mean, you're going to have some choice of poison, so you can consider Noxious Shooms as, like, a universal card. Much, you can say Glacier is probably a universal card, because Glacier gives you consistent defense. Okay, Noxious Shooms is kind of a bad consideration in terms of... I'm trying to compare Orb and Poison. I think Orbs are very strong. It just... It, it just requires the right cards... It's not something that you can write off as just being weak 100%. It's not true. I'm thinking a lot about this, guys. Thinking a lot about this. What is up, Reloading? Good to see you, man. Now, you can't use Creative Act to full, heal, heal fully. Well, the thing is, I do have, I do have heavy defense. Because I do have Echo Form to help me get more defense. At, like more extract more value out of my defense, but also I have another leap I'm about to buy and pretty defensive deck relatively because I'm gonna move a strike as well. I'll do it. All right, so we got the leap. Might do I want to buy any of these potions? Nah, I think we're fine. Pretty if I does feel kind of bad in these hallway fights though. So we can just end this with like a multicast turbo or or sunder, you know. So there's two things we can do. This would dump all the energy and do 24. This is doing 24, dumping the energy as well. They're both similar. The only difference is that this is doing 24 plus the three lightning. This is getting rid of the the lightning altogether, bringing darkness closer, but also making frost in the front potentially for axe kick. I think having frost in the front for dual cast or axe kick can give me more flexibility. And there it is, we got the dual cast, but now this is a situation where we want to play Echo Form. This is what I was trying to avoid, right? Hands with Creative Eye Echo Form, it feels bad. If I didn't have this, I would probably draw and went to something else. So I think Echo Form is going to help, but maybe it's not necessary in this, because we have Dark Scaling. So what we do is just full defense. Well, honestly, our defense kind of requires Echo Form, I would say, because Echo Form is extracting so much value. So we're going to take 7 to get Echo Form out, but it's probably going to save us more than 7 in the long run. Unless you think we can kill him before... Because this is his biggest hit, and then from there it's like... Like 14, 10, 12. And maybe we can kill him before that even becomes an issue. Hmm. Yeah, a fan of Hyperbeam. Hyperbeam is it's 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 good. It's good, but it, it's again it's situational. Electrodynamics brought together a lot of the weaknesses of orbs. So lightning orbs were felt pretty weak, but now electrodynamics brings a whole power to lightning. Yes, I beat the game with Echo Form. I did the same thing, man. I remember chemistry. I've done uh, Hyper Beam with Echo Forms with Beam Cell or, or Trip. Another, like, I like things like Sunder. We just do a lot of front loader damage. Let's go ahead and do Echo Form. Now, I think a part of me feels like I could have probably killed without. I 
Well, I, I didn't think it'd count frail. I guess the frail would have been hard. The frail would have been kind of hard. So Multigas is giving me 20 block. This is giving me 10 block. Axe kick, it's not good enough yet. So we're waiting for dual cast. Dual cast is lethal. I really... Oh, that's pretty good. It's 48. It's not good enough. I need to upgrade this, man. This would have been 64. That would have been lethal. Yeah, this is awkward. This is awkward. Again, Creative Valley is kind of kicking me in the ass. And I think I'm going to regret Creative Valley. I always think Creative Valley is so bad after I use it. I need self-repair, man. I need some healing here. Cold Snap Recursion. Recursion is okay. I guess that can help me nurse the Dark Orb super long against the... The champ. The problem with recursion is that. Okay, it's not good with choker. I think cool stuff gives you more frosts. But we have cool headed. We have rainbow. Cool headed mainly. And again, with frost, we're kind of trying to defend with just echo form and leaps, right? I suppose frost becomes better when we have creative AI because creative AI can give us focus. I think recursion helps me nurse the dark orb. But it's also kind of awkward most of the time. It's pretty awkward most of the time. I'm going to skip. This deck's kind of a little iffy. This deck's a little iffy, guys. Okay. Echo form auto shows, I suppose. Yeah, it's okay. Damn. There's the Sunder. Yeah, I need to upgrade Sunder so bad. Do I like the, the Showboy Meets World? Oh my, yes. I used to love Showboy Boy, Boy Meets World. Who's my favorite character? Eh, I don't remember. I, I liked Cory. I think I... I like Dr. Feeney. I liked... I remember, I remember watching it. I remember I liked Cory. I liked Dr. Feeney. I don't know if I have a favorite character. I liked them all. I liked... Uh, what's, what was her name? The girl's name? I forgot her name. There's a chance that this hits this guy. Nothing. Okay. Topanga. Yeah, to, 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 Topanga. There you go. Topanga. I remember when they went to like the whale place. There was a lot of good episodes. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits, man. Hologram. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yep, I'll take the hologram. I think the go for the eyes. Nah, we'll take the hologram for sure. I'm going to rest. We're going to try to upgrade. I think we upgrade at this point. Apparitions. This is interesting, right? So Apparitions works well with Echo Form. And what Apparitions does for me, it allows me to just... Scale up the Dark Orb on the champ. In Hallway Fights, I'm not sure. So I guess with Hallway Fights, it allows me to get Creative AI and also let that scale up. So if I do Apparitions, I can have time to get Echo Form and Creative AI. And then potentially after that's done, I'm already getting so much value out of whatever's happening that... I win off that. It's a little awkward though. So, because I already have. I have a lot of consistent defense that I've been building, right? I have four defense, two leaps, a hologram, auto shield, steam barrier. I mean, it's not the most defense, so maybe maybe Apparition will help me out here. I lose max HP, so it makes it so that if I take damage, I take damage, and that's it. That's the bit sounds loud as fuck, really. I gotta lower that. My bad, dude. 
I was ready with Sean, but this but here's some boy me with <laughs> Yeah, I like Sean as well. This might be good. This might be good. I think it makes sense with my my deck. Let's try it out. Okay. So let's make Creative Eye cheaper, right? Well, our whole goal now is to draw into Echo Form Turbo, right? To get that out ASAP. So maybe something like Cool Header for card draw. That's my only card draw. The downside is if I draw into Apparition, but I also want to find Apparition when I need the Apparition. So I think Cool Headed's a good pick. I think Hologram's probably a decent pick so I can keep bringing the card draw back. Data Disc is not bad. I think we don't need to get Creative Eye cheaper if we, as long as we have Apparitions out. So by having Hologram upgraded, I can keep doing, I keep using it, and this can give me some decent value. We might go for an Elite now. Let's see how we do here in this fight. So, like, those those turns were intangible, just doing nothing. Sunder. I guess we can hologram rip and tear. Well, this is lethal, wasn't it? It's lethal, isn't it? That's crazy. The data disc makes the dark really nice. Defrag, cool headed consume. Consume, okay. Not it's the focus is okay, but we don't have the orb slots. We could argue that creative is gonna give us orb slots. I'm not gonna do it. I think defrag is just better. Although defrag is another card that's not but we have apparitions, so we can probably play it pretty safely. I think we can go for an elite. So what elite would punish us? The slavers if we get a bad turn. If we don't get apparition first turn, the slavers punish us. Let's let's avoid it. Remove, let's do it. At this point we probably want to remove def uh, defense, right? It's still good to remove strikes because we if in the event that we don't have apparition, we want to be able to defend. We could sunder for 24. I'd rather get the dark going and get a turn for apparition. And I'm going to do Axic just to get some damage, but also get Dark closer to the front. Creative Eye is fine. Same situation, I want to get Dark to the front, so if, if I draw multicasts... We got Lethal. And there it is, multicast, Lethal once again. Really easy hallway fights. Self-Repair is not that strong anymore, right? Self-Repair is no longer... Helping me out. Glacier is... It's pretty good. It does... It could potentially get rid of the dark, but if I just use Glacier once to get the Frost... With the Focus, I'm getting pretty decent block. This Apparition is just useless here. I guess I can do Multicast and try to get as much damage as possible. Alright, this is, this is a rough fight because they keep scaling, and if I don't... Get damage out, this is pretty bad. This could be pretty bad. Let's see. Because I, I, if I don't get dark going, then I'm not scaling. Did we not use rainbow? We haven't even been offered rainbow. I guess we bring back Sunder. So we can at least kill one, right? We can get the Echo Form out. But I want to get the Rainbow out for the Dark. But I guess Echo Form is going to help us. It's hard to say, right? So Echo Form will help us... Get full defense, and also I can do rip and tear stuff, or maybe double sunder. Double sunder would be really good. Echo form, 
opens up double sunder possibility. Rainbow opens up dark dual cast. But double sunder might be better. We'll see. We'll see. Double sunder for the win. Yikes. Hmm. Double creative eye is not the play. Double leap, I guess, is the play. Double zap might be... So this is doing some damage as well. It's doing 28 randomly. Maybe if I do zap... I think we do double leap. Let's see what we draw into. Alright, it's a little awkward. Uh, double thunder is still uh, a way to get out of this. Multicast is doing... 30 randomly, but then I also multicast the Frost. Whew. Oh boy. As a voice of repair helps in this situation. So, you know what's, what's kind of scary? What's scary is that if I don't get, like, if I don't get enough focus to consistently block against the champ, if I just take one hit, I'm dead. That's really scary. Force field is a really good value block because this is going to be doing 12 for zero once I get everything out. And if I upgrade it, it's doing 16 for zero. 12 for zero is pretty good. It's not good with choker, but I just want value blocks. It's a little awkward in the beginning, though. If I get that in the beginning, then I'm, I might have a dead turn. If I get one dead turn, I'm, I'm feeling bad. So I have to worry about my turns one through four. Because my turns five through four... My turns from four on seem okay. Because once I get the scaling, I think we're fine. Doom and Gloom gives me more consistent... Consistent Dark Orbs. And right now, I don't... The only Dark Orb I have is Rainbow. I think we take one Doom and Gloom just to get another source of Dark Orb continually. The alternative is to upgrade Rainbow. So if, if I... If I want to keep Dark going, I can upgrade Rainbow, and that's a way to get Dark Orb, as opposed to... The problem with the Rainbow is that it does Lightning, and Lightning is not always what he wants against the champ, because it's going to proc him sooner. So Doom and Gloom seems okay. Yeah, so Rainbow is the only Dark generation, exactly, but we can upgrade Rainbow as an alternative and get Dark continually with Rainbow, but... Yeah, it's awkward. This is Doom and Gloom. All right, and if I'm resting, it's, I'm, I'm losing value, so I'm going to have to upgrade. We could upgrade the multicast, which allow us to get the lethal sooner, but I think getting defrag plus allows us to get more consistent defense once the apparitions wear off. Now, this fight's a little bit easier because he's not going to scale up like the cultists. And there we go. We got rainbow for the frost, which is fantastic. We got leap. I'm going to get double dark out. And I actually don't want to do zap because zap's going to... Proc him. I want to keep the frost, basically. Well, for, for, I want to keep the frost, but I also don't want lightning to be procking him. I think we try to draw into Echo Form here. Whoa. Okay, that's not bad. We're getting all out of the way. That buys us some time to find Echo Form, even though our defense is pretty decent. I suppose we just do damage. Bam, 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 bam. I'm just buying time. At this point, we don't even. Echo Form is gonna be great, actually, because if I get multicast Echo Form, we're, we're doing some stuff. Beautiful. I don't need to do anything. I could dual cast Echo Form now as doing. 204 damage. Not quite there yet. Let's go ahead and keep skipping. I guess we could double strike just to get some damage, butter him up a little bit. At some point, Glacier is really useful because that can helps me consistently defend, but I don't want to get rid of... Yeah, this is one of those situations where, like, Glacier would have helped me get the, the, the defense. Creative AI. Alright, so we're gonna take a hit here. We're gonna take a hit here, and if we... Damn, this is rough. 
This is real rough. Glacier would have helped me get. So that would have given me two frosts. But, no, Glacier would have given me one frost. Two frosts. And. Yeah, Glacier would have got rid of both dark. That's bad. It would have helped me defend, but I get rid of both dark. I need cool headed again. Cool headed. I can get rid of one dark and just have one scaling. I need cool headed to get more frost. So we're going to have to full block here. I only I think we can't even play creative AI. Creative AI is too Well, I can either block for three or I could do creative AI. Creative AI might be better because I can give me something like defrag or buffer. As opposed to blocking for three. We got a loop. That's fantastic. Now I want to get rid of one of the darks. Well, but keeping the darks like this allows me to get multicast lethal. So right now, multicast is going to be lethal. It's going to be 4 times 70 something twice. So if I do nothing, if I don't get the frost, there's a chance I can die to a big hit. But multicast is also lethal. And we're about to draw into multicast either next turn or... And if we don't draw into multicast, we, at least we have leap twice. So I think we're fine. I'm going to sunder just to get him lower. And multicast should be lethal here. So let's do the math. This is doing 96 times 4, 78 times 4. Easy. Easy. Echo for multicast Thunderstrike again. Okay, so we can do Echo for number 2, multicast number 2. Thunderstrike, pretty bad. Okay, so Echo for number 2 is unnecessary, I would say. Although we do have Apparition, so we can be a little greedy. Multicast number two allows me to have more outs for my darkness, right? If, if my whole thing is predicated on getting dark multicasted, then multicast number two helps me get that. But if I draw multicast without dark, then it's pretty awkward to have two of them, so I'm going to go ahead and skip. I guess we do echo for number two. What's the downside of echo for number two? If you get both of them in one turn, it feels bad. But having three echo forms could be useful. Double Echo Farm? You guys like Double Echo Farm? Really? Alright. I'll listen to you guys. So transform all strikes and defense. Might be bad. Might be, might be good because... We have Apparitions. We don't really need the defense. Runic Pyramid could be good as well because I can hold on to things... Like Runic Pyramid could be really good actually. Wait a second. Runic Pyramid could be really good because... I can hold on to value blocks that I need. I can hold on to Sunder if I need it for kills. I can hold on to the multicast when I need it to use the dark. But because we have double Echo Farmers, maybe we take the Sozu, we have better energy turns. We're probably going to run into Choker, but Sozu will help us get more complete turns. But Pyramid is very interesting, right? Because I can hold on to multicast when I need it, and then I can guarantee whatever I need. It gives me less card draw, and card draw is kind of an issue for me. Hey, Boremo, thanks for the 100 bits, man. I'm glad you liked it. Pyramid seems bad. The reason why Pyramid seems bad is because I, I, my survival is dependent on making sure I draw into Apparition and getting Apparition out to buy me time. If I'm only drawing four cards a turn, I'm probably not getting Apparitions when I need it. It's kind of bad. I'm going to do the Sozu. Yes, yes, search it. They do. Who's the boss? Donu and Deca. Okay, for Donu and Deca, we have apparitions to buy time. We want to get the darkness scaling, and then we're going to just multicast them to death. That's the, that's the plan. That is the plan. We want to avoid elites, and we can. Let's go avoid elites. Uh, there's no reason to... Like, we're trying to win. We're not trying to be high score here. Sunder's fantastic. I like doing multicast now just to get dark to the front. I need apparition now. There it is. That's perfect. I can get the echo form, the defrag, and the steam barrier. Take no damage, and now we got the makings of potentially lethal. Let's see. We got double echo form. So rip and tear could be good, right? Rip and tear could hit the guy on the right. If it hits the guy on the right once, we're happy. 
And then I can just do dual cast and get rid of that. The alternative is to do... Let's do Ripping Tear. That's fine. I think with double echo form we're going to be fine. That means we're going to have four apparitions. That's insane. If I can get double echo form for the apparitions, I get zone deco. We're not going to lose ever. Oops. Choco doesn't help me back that much. I mean, it helped me back a little bit there, but that's that's not a big deal. Uh, we can hologram. I think we want to hologram and get out. The dark orbs. There was no point in actually doing that because. Oh, that's smart. I didn't. I didn't even realize how smart that was. My bad. I'll get a little bit of frost to help me defend, but then this is gonna be GG. God damn it. Let's just wait. There's not there's not I don't have to do anything here. I could zap. There's no point. Dual cast twice is killing. It's killing that guy. Barrage, streamline, sweep. I'm gonna skip here. I don't think any of these cards help me. Skippy skippy. You could argue streamline the sweeping is okay, but I may not I may run to choker if I'm cycling that. Let's get Let's get the dark scaling ASAP. Let's go ahead and keep him vulnerable. Infinite impulse. Pyramid is good if that only if you got toxic. Yeah, exactly, that's true, man. So we're gonna take some damage here. Actually, no, we're not taking any damage. We can do Echo Form. We can do Axic and then Dual Cast. Defend. I want to get the Defrag out. I don't have the energy for it. If I do Defrag, I... Wait, I could do Defrag Dual Cast. That's even better. The best of both worlds. And we still have Apparitions in the deck. Oh, Thunder's lethal. That's nice. Hologram again, or stack. I think stack's gonna be useful to get a, a, consist, a nice block. So it's not gonna be nice now. Well, it's not nice most of the time because apparitions are buying us time. But once the apparition wears off, the stack's gonna be pretty useful. Well, not even, because apparitions exhaust, right? So that's five cards down. And then the defrag is another card. The two powers are... My deck's not that big. It's still, still good value. The hologram could bring back multicast if I need it, I suppose. And if I have more holograms, there's more chances for me to get multicast for lethal. As opposed to stack, which is trying to keep me alive. But if I can kill the darkness, then I don't need... I don't need stack. I think holograms are more versatile. I'm doing way better today than yesterday. Yesterday was a bad day for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> Hologram or stack? Interesting choices. So hologram, again, it helps me. It helps me with multicast, I feel like. Although, maybe I need a stack, like one good defense card, like a stack for the turns where I don't get Apparition. Because if I take one hit from Dono Deca, just one, I'm screwed. If I get into a situation where I can't defend with apparitions and they're they scaled up like 21 times 2, then I'm dead. And stack can kind of mitigate that. Oh, I picked all of them anyways. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsies. It's all good. Hologram is fine. This is a situation where, okay, um, I'm taking hits here. And this is really bad. This is what you want to avoid. You do not want a situation where... Taking that much damage willy nilly. Luckily, we got double apparitions, so Echo Form is gonna make the apparitions crazy. I could Glacier for Frost, but the Lightning's doing some work. Yeah, fine. It gives me some insurance, right? Just in case I don't find something. 
20. That's pretty good. I mean, it's 48 damage. We do want to get the dark out. What, what could be hologram? Well, next turn we're going to be getting, like, apparitions doubled. So we don't need to... We can go do rainbow. It's fine. How much damage is this? Multicast is doing 5 times 13. Yeah, I, want, I wish I had some prepared for this, because I actually don't want to rest for such a small amount. I think loop is really strong. We have time to get loop out with apparitions, right? And, okay, it could be kind of awkward, but the loop is going to make this much easier for me to kill. Don't know, Deco. But if I get a turn, yeah, this is bad. Luckily, we got apparitions, but we got to be careful not to draft too many cards, because if we have a turn where we're not getting apparition, and we just take all the damage, we just die instantly. That's really scary. So we need, like, boot sequence. I think we need boot sequence ASAP, actually. Double creative AI or, or Glacier twice? Um, creative AI... Well, Glacier once is doing, what, 14 block? Well, I have defrag, right? So I, my block's actually doing, like, what, plus 6? I think, I think, yeah. What, what about hologram? I can hologram twice, and I can get rainbow out for the dark. And then I can do Glacier and then Rainbow. Okay. A little scary here. Because if I don't kill these guys... I mean, Apparition will take care of it. I just need to get App Apparition. There's the Apparition. Is Apparition better than Double Echo Form? Because if I do Double Echo Form, then it means I can get four apparitions on the next turn and we're not gonna take damage this turn anyways because this this apparition stops that right i'm pretty sure maybe better is just double defrag i don't need to be doing echo form that many times i guess you could say that double echo form gives you more apparitions but i, I think we're happy with what we have Okay, uh, I think we're gonna have to rest just because I don't want to. Well, reinforced body's good. It is good, but okay. But reinforced body plus is pretty good. If I draw that on the first one, I'm feeling good about that, and it works pretty well with Equiform. I think I'm gonna rest just because I don't want to take a chance of dying if I don't have enough block. Resting feels bad though. It really does feel bad. We need a boot sequence ASAP. If we don't have block on the first turn and we just take more than 16 damage, we're just dead. What, what would I upgrade? I guess I could upgrade the hologram to get that again. The loop. I think the loop's a pretty good upgrade. It's not going to keep me alive. It's going to help me kill Dono and Deco, though. It feels so bad to rest for 9. It really does. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to take the risk here. Taking the risk. That's fine. We got Echo Form. That means Apparition is doubled. Easy. Easy peasy. That's for nine. Willow. Willow the Wisps. That's it. We got the Apparitions for days. Now we're never dying. Thanks for the follow data. Welcome, dude. Sent your first donation and it didn't pop up. Really, Larson? Hmm, let me see.
Oh, Contain Larson with the $50. Wow, thank you so much for the 50 bomb, dude. Greetings from Germany. So much for, thank you so much for the content. Man, thank you so much for the support. That is not a small amount of money. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, Larson, so much. Wow, wow, wee wow. Thank you, dude. Ooh. Double cool headed? It gets rid of the dark, right? Uh, that's not good. Oh, Janoff, Janoff with the Twitch Prime. Hey, welcome. Thanks for using the Twitch Prime on me, man. We're, we're a lot of Twitch Primes today, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't want to do cool audio, right? I don't want to get rid of the dark. I think dark's the best way we're doing. I suppose we could do uh, Rip and Tear again. Maybe do a little bit of Zappy Zappy. Welcome to being sub. You are star. I like that. I like that line for Snickety. Double deep frag. Apparitions for day, guys. It's gonna get to the point where multi is just gonna kill, right? So I just need to, like... Alright, so multi is... Which is funny. If I do Sunder... I don't waste Echo Form. So I still have Echo Form proc, and then this is doing... Lethal, I believe. Yes. Self repair. Do I take it? Just so I don't. So I'm not at 16 life. Do I take it? It's really. So it's not gonna help at all against the boss. And it might even be bad in the first turn. If I draw self repair on the first turn, it might be kind of bad. But it helps me get back to full. So I'm not. So I'm not half life, which is 16. You know. But at the same time, if I draw self-prepare on the first turn, this could be the reason why I die. Because I draw instead of a defense. So it's iffy. It's iffy. Uh-oh. This is one of those guys. Okay. You know what's funny? I could use that. No, I don't need to. I'm not going to waste hologram. Okay, we need to get Echo Form out ASAP so we can have double apparitions for days. That's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, we got, I think we're in the clear. This is so Monk IS, dude. If I don't draw defense on the first one against Zona Deca, I, I'm just dead. Oh, dual cast was... It wasn't lethal. Wrong order? Did I do wrong order? Did I do wrong order? I need upgrade dual cast. Oh, that's lethal. D frag for more focus. Reinforced body hologram. Reinforced body plus is just it's just nice to have, man. So when apparitions are not there, this is a really good thing to have. It really is. I think I couldn't go wrong with any more defense. I can't go wrong with it. I think I take it. D frag. Okay, is really nice, and it helps me get the frost. Higher up, which can make me consistently block, but I think I think reinforced bodies is play. I got I should stop taking cards though at this point. Gold plated cables, GG. That's like my favorite relic, and I. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we need to make sure we get card draw so we can get apparitions out. We have no card draw in this deck actually. Mm, I'm not even using creative eye at all. Creative eye is completely dead at this point. It's just echo form and multicast. Creative eye is completely dead. I knew it was going to be dead card too, but whatever. I think we upgrade multicast, right? We just want to make sure we have... We don't die in the first turn. That's it. Please don't kill me in the first turn. This might be one of the fights I die in the first turn. That's what I was talking about. We're not dead, but it is... It's very close to dead. Like, so close to that, it's scary. Mm. 
This is what I hate. This is what I hate right here. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Let's get let's get the Let's get the dark on loop, right? The dark on loop so we can kill this fight. Get this fight out of the way. I hate this fight. Get the dark on loop. Get the dark on gold cradle and we don't have loop, we have gold plated, but we're about to get loop. Sunder's good. You know what? Let's kill one of these guys. Get him out of the way. So once we draw into multicast, we can have a better chance of lethal. The alternative is to do Dooming Gloom and get even more dark. Let's kill this guy. Cool it is bad. It gives me card draw, but it No, it's not too cool. I wanna I don't want I wanna use apparitions with Echo Form. I think I'm gonna have to rest. Wow, we didn't get the apparition, but we have multicast. So let's think about multicast. Multicast is doing five times 41. It's killing that guy, boom, boom, and then that guy, boom, boom. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're fine. Yes. Darkness recursion. Recursion's doing stuff, but not necessary. Don't think it's necessary. Don't think it's necessary. Darkness, not necessary. Please give me Lee's Waffle. Huh. Pantograph, that's the heal I need. That's actually so good. Yes, that's perfect. Pantograph it is. I just need to survive this next two things. Get Pantograph to get to heal to full. That's like so clutch. The alternative is to remove a strike. You know, I think Pantograph is perfect. Oh, maybe Block Pot was the play. Ah. Maybe block pipe was the pay play. Too late. Too late. I already bought it. Please give me survival. Lose axe kick, reinforce body, defrag. Axe kick is no longer necessary, I don't think. In fact, axe kick is something that can get me killed. Please don't kill me. Oh, this might be a rip. Okay, we're fine. Shit, man. Scary. I want to get Dooming Gloom out, but it's going to take 4 damage, and then it's also... So let's like we have 9, 9, 18. I think we got a full defense. We got a full defense. 24. Alright, we're fine. Whew. Considering potions... Oh, I forgot! Sozu, my bad. Thank God. Reinforced body is saving my ass. I knew it would too. I knew it would. I think I'm gonna upgrade dual cast next. I've seen apparition now. This is the best time for the apparition. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whew. This is actually stressful. Who you talking about? Yeah, thank you, Simon. I appreciate that. Let's do the defrag, the loop. Let's get a zap just to get a little bit more damage in. Okay, now we just gotta get the dark out, and I think we're a okay. Where's the echo form when you need it? There it is. Ooh, Sunder's really good, though. Never mind, not good enough. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I, I want to Sunder because I want to kill one of these ads, so I'm not getting all these days. I think we're fine. I have, nothing, I have no reason to freak out now. I have zero reason to freak out. What are the chances that Ripper Chair hits the guy in the back twice? Okay. It gives magnetism, but magnetism no longer gives you, um... Magnetism no longer gives you... Bandage up, so... 
I think Jack of all trades and transmutation can give you advantage up, but I don't even, they might have taken that out as well. But basically, they don't want the defect to heal at all. That's basically what they want. No healing. Uh oh, he's dazed. <laughs> Let's get the dark going. Oh, I forgot about Echo Form. Whoops. I suppose it's not bad. Whew. GG, guys. GG. We did it. Alright. I think this is the final boss. This is, this is what it all comes down to. Pantograph. Stack plus? Yes, I'll take it. Yes. Yes. Okay. We have Pantograph here, so let's upgrade. What's going to help us stay alive? What's also going to help us win? So I think... Dual cast for free can help us... Get Get rid of the dark. Hologram can help me bring back things I might need, like multicasts. Leap for better defense. Sunder for more damage. I said I was going to do dual cast, right? Because that can help me play Apparition Plus. No, no, no. Apparition Plus makes it so that they, they are no longer ethereal. So you can draw them and save them for another turn. You finished it in 12 minutes. That's crazy, Titan Velocity. Rip and Terror, eh. I don't know. It's, for upgrade, it's either defense or... Maybe Echo Form so I don't lose it just in case I have to play something else. Maybe Glacier to get more block. Glacier. Okay. Alright guys, we got the Apparition first turn, that's fantastic, we got the Defrag, we can get rid of one of their artifacts, and we can do multicast, why not? Nothing better to do. Okay. Gotta get Echo Form out, gotta get the next Apparition out. That is neither of those cards, but we're not dead, that's all that matters. All that matters is that we're not dead. And as long as we're not dead, I'm ex I'm happy. We gotta loop out. I'm happy about that. All we gotta do is get apparitions, right? The loop's gonna just get up in the dark. We're totally fine. Why the hell am I not getting apparitions? Can someone explain this to me? Okay. I'm gonna keep it together here. I'm gonna keep it together. We're going to leap, hologram the hologram, then hologram the leap, and then defend. I'm getting all my cards at the bottom of my deck. It's really bad. The double Echo Forms waiting to be played. Just my luck, I'm probably going to get Echo Forms together and not be able to play both. Just my luck. Maybe even Sunder. I might just die next turn. We'll see. Um... <clears throat> I, I believe... Yeah, we are going to... Hologram the hologram. I mean... Okay. Apparitions, please. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of apparitions. That's really bad because I'd rather use those apparitions on Echo Form. Now, now we have a lot less time than I wanted. But whatever. I, I, beggars can't be choosers. Alright, I got those all that versions at once. Gives me some time. Give me Echo Forms. Alright, Echo Forms at the bottom of my deck. It's fantastic. Classic. There's the dark. The dark scaling. Extremely late. Yikes. Really late dark scaling, by the way. Echo Form, both of them at the bottom of my deck. Okay. Holy shit. This is so scary, actually. The one more turn on Apparition. Now we have to just, like, depend on our defense here. I couldn't get creative AI out. We get double Echo Forms, which can probably save our ass. Like, that's probably gonna save our ass. Like, we're probably fine. But they're doing a lot of damage. If I had Calipers, that'd be fantastic. 
All right, so next turn, it's Defender Bust. Okay, I wanted to create a vibe, but I don't think I have time. So, we're looking at 48 damage. We have another 20 block. This is going to be, okay, 38. Mm-hmm. So, what we want to do is use Zap. Well, here's the thing. It sucks. I want to use Zap, but I don't want Zap to be done twice because I want to get Dark on the loop, but I don't want... I believe this is using all my attacks, right? Yeah, that sucks. Now I can't do Zap to bring Dark to the front. It's gonna be kind of difficult, actually. It's gonna be kind of difficult. So Moldy Cast is not bad, right? I can do Turbo Moldy Cast. That's doing how much? Let's just do the math. 9 times 42. It's also doing 9 times 8 for block. It's not bad. 9 times 42 is what? Let's do the math. Kills this guy in four, and then the next five go there. Oh, it's even more. It's even more, it's 11. It's 12, sorry. Let's go! Woo! It's a little scary, but you know, apparitions, man, apparitions are great. Apparitions are great. Guys, that's 2-0.